welcome back to another week of vlogs. So today is Monday, the 24th, and it is currently 8.25, so I'm going to go ahead and do my reading and writing before I get Ethan up at 8.30, 8.35, depending on when, I, depending on when I'm done with, with my reading and writing. And, well, I set an alarm today for 6.45. I was like, I know I will snooze, but if I can at least get myself up before 7.50, or 7.45, like, my morning would be so much more productive. So, I did set my alarm for 6.45 today. I got up at 7.12, which is 30, 35 minutes earlier than what I've been getting up. And so, I took, got up, went straight to the kitchen, took my supplements, and then I was like, oh, like, I'll just start working out at 7.30 so I could do a 30-minute workout. But I forgot that today is, today marks the first week of my two-a-days. And so, and so I will be going to the gym today. So I did a 10 minute workout this morning, but needless to say, so before that, so as I was thinking like, I'll just do a 30 minute workout in 15 minutes, even though it takes 30 minutes for my pills to kick in. So I was like, man, so, but I got to the sink and I realized that it was like swarming with ants because Sundays are usually our lazy days, so I didn't do dishes before we came to bed, which was my mistake and my bad. And for whatever reason, our house is super prone to ants. Like, I have to keep it super clean, no food out, no crumbs, no spills, nothing, which I'm usually pretty good about. But like I said, I kind of slacked last night, so there were, there were ants all over the sink. So I ended up having to do, like, the 10 dishes that were in there. And I wiped down all the counters and the cabinets and stuff like that. So I ended up not getting done with that till about 7.45. Came in here, brushed my teeth, got myself dressed to work out, and ended up doing a 10-minute workout because I remembered I get to go back to the gym today. Lord willing, if Brian gets out before 6. Because, um, not that I don't mind, not that I mind him getting overtime. I'm loving the overtime because it helps us out as a family financially. But, um... The boys can only be in the nursery till eight, and then we're we've been trying to eat before um, eight o'clock. So if he gets out by six, we will only be able to be there till eight, and we've been trying to eat before eight. So if worse comes to worse, I'll just let him take the boys. Um, or I'll just let him go to the gym by himself and I'll stay here and I'll do my second workout here at home. So if he's not home by the time that Ethan is done with school, then um, I, I know that we're not going at four o'clock because that's the only way that I'm gonna be able to go is if we go at four or five, because I do have to, I am the one who has to cook dinner. So yeah, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and do my reading and writing. I've been rambling for three minutes now. So let's just go ahead and do it that hey guys so it is lunchtime so what i am making the boys are cheese quesadillas with pepperonis i know it's the weirdest combination but the boys love it and i might even give them some ranch on the side so this is their lunch today and then i'm just gonna have some chicken salad burritos wraps whatever you want to call them but yeah so this is the boys lunch and then i will show you guys once i get to my lunch okay guys so okay guys so this is what i'm having for lunch i'm having some of this costco chicken salad and i'm just going to put it in these tortillas we really needed to eat up those tortillas because we've had them for a while so this lunch is actually like per serving well for the amount of servings that i did is actually 800 calories about 832 but i am a person because of how much I work out and how active I am throughout my day. I am someone who needs to eat over 2000 calories and it increases every single time I work out. So I, I'm eating, having to eat close to 3000 calories a day and I never meet it, like never. Unless I don't work out, well, I go over my calories a little bit, but I never meet that. And, but it does, and there's even been a few days where it says I'm not eating enough. So yeah, I know it sounds like a lot, but I have to eat this much in order for me to be, for, a, for, for my body to be able to lose weight the way it's supposed to. Some people can go off of a calorie de deficit and lose weight. I've tried that. I've tried the dieting and working out, and I'm not somebody who loses weight that way. My body needs to learn how to burn calories, and so that's why I try to eat what I'm supposed to eat and work out as much as I'm supposed to work out, and that's how I have seen my progress. So yeah. 
this is my lunch right here. So like I said, two tortillas and two servings of chicken salad. Obviously not in each tortilla. So one serving, one tortilla, one serving the other. That's my lunch. I'm gonna drink some kombucha and water. And yeah, I've got that today is Brian's rest day. So what we're actually, so what I'm actually, sorry, I'm fixing my nightstand. So anyways, what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and do an at-home workout, which I actually think works out pretty good for Brian and I to have two different rest days because that means I can put the boys to bed here at the house while he's resting and I can work out at home because working out at home doesn't bother me, but Brian's not a fan of it. And then also, dang, my guns are coming back, y'all. And then also, uh the days that I decide to rest, Brian can take the boys to the gym with him and then I get some peace and quiet. So I think that's actually gonna work out pretty good and in our favor. Now my only debate is after I work out, do I want to film a makeup video? Because it'll be about 5.15 when I'm done working out and I've already worked for today. So I'm not sure what time I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and if I'll wake up early enough to do a work to do my to do a video but I don't know maybe I will just to get the video filmed and I if I do that right after I work out like if I film right after I work out then I will be done in time to have dinner ready so I might go ahead and do that so yeah I'm waiting about 10 more minutes before I start my workout just to let my pill kick in but that's what's going on with today you guys I'm not going to record my workouts this week just because I feel like I filmed a lot of that last week so what I might do is actually just I don't know like what do you guys want to see like I don't know so yeah <laughs> anyways I'm gonna go ahead and uh dress for a little bit let the pill kick in take a breath by myself and then I'm gonna work out and then try to film a video so yeah hey guys so it is if you can't tell I filmed but um it's currently about 9 20 I just finished cleaning the kitchen. I cooked this for dinner. So this is just some Alfredo pasta. It looks really yellow because I add turmeric to it. Or it's just Alfredo pasta with carrots, peas, broccoli, some chicken, and then some Caesar salad. So that was all I cooked for dinner, you guys. And yeah, I'm about to take a shower, go to bed, or take a shower, eat this food, take a shower, do my reading, and lay it down because your girl is trying to start a new sleep wake schedule so yeah see you guys in the morning or on wednesday i will you'll know when good morning guys it is now 7 30. it is workout time i already did my reading and writing spent a little bit of time on my phone got up at 6 47 again i don't know why i can't do 6 45 but man 6.47 is cutting it for me, so. Next week, we try to get up at 6.30, and then that will be the earliest I wake up. So, yeah, time to get this workout in, and I will let you guys watch today.
I think I was, I thought them hits or something else. Them Tabata videos are really something else. Like the hits, at least you get 45 seconds on 30 seconds of rest or 15 second rest, but, but only 10 second rest. Oh no, I need to figure out what I want to Hey watch. guys, so I know I've been pretty MIA today. Um, Ethan's on his lunch break, it's almost done, so I thought I'd do a check-in. I forgot to tell you guys that I painted my nails and toes yesterday. I wanted like a deep royal blue or a cobalt blue, but I didn't have that, so I just went with black. I'm editing right now, and I did eat some of my food, but every single time I eat, my stomach hurts. Like, not breakfast, but lunch and dinner. Every time I eat lunch and dinner, like, my stomach hurts so bad. So, I don't know what's causing it. I don't know what it is. First, I thought it was gas, but I'm like, how is noodles making me gassy? But it might be the peanut oil or sesame oil or something. Or the green onions. Like, I don't know. So, I ate half of those noodles. They weren't anything. They were the Asha noodles from my Costco haul my most recent costco haul but they weren't terrible they're actually pretty good because they were kind of bland and sometimes i just want something with not so much flavor so that was good but yeah my stomach is hurting now so i don't know i eat because i know that i need to eat but at the same time i don't want to eat because my stomach hurts i told brian i was like i wonder like, this has me wondering, like, what the heck all did they do during my hernia repair? Because I feel like, I don't know if you ever hear, like, people who have gotten, like, gastric bypass done or a gastric sleeve or anything like that. But they always say, like, when it eats, like, when they eat, like, it hurts really bad. And that's how I feel. Like, every time I eat, my stomach hurts. So, yeah, it's about time for Ethan to start his schoolwork again. And... I'm going to finish editing. I've been editing. This vlog wasn't as long. It was only three hours. So I'm 21 minutes in and I'm about to cut some stuff out and speed up some stuff. So, yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It just... It's four, about to be 4.30, so I'm about to take my burn pills. So, of course, Brian decided not to go to the gym this week, so... Still not back at the gym, but I have started my two workouts today, so I'm still going to take my burn pills and work out. And I want to be done working out by before 5.30, so that way I can start cooking at 5.30. So, I'm going to take these pills. I'll be able to eat. I mean, I'll be able to work out by 5, a little bit before 5. So, about 4.55, I'll be able to eat. I mean, work out. So at 4.55, I'll be able to work out. I'll work out at 4.55. I'll be done by 5.25. And then I can start cooking dinner. I'm just making tacos tonight, which reminds me. I am going to run to the store right now because we need cheese and the boys are still asleep and Brian wants to get in the shower. So I'm going to run to the store really fast right now. I see like all these people posting that like where it lives, it's already starting to, where they live, it's starting to get cold. And I'm like, what the heck? Cause here in West Texas, right now it's 94 flipping degrees. Everybody else talking about the seventies and it's a little bit chilly and rainy. And I'm like, why, why, why can't we get that? Too hot for hot breath in these masks. That's what it's too hot for. I made it back just in time to work out. So I'm about to change to work out and get that going. So yeah, see you guys when it's time to cook dinner. Hey guys, so I tried working out, but I can only do like 15 minutes. My stomach started hurting. I kept getting interrupted, so I just gave up. So I'm just about to go cook dinner because it's just whatever. It's 6, 5.56, so I'm gonna hurry up and go cook dinner real fast. I'm just making tacos, rice and beans and yeah, I just feel irritated now that my workout was interrupted by pain and people. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, in this vlog, the cook with me is going to be tacos. So, you'll need ground beef, pinto beans. You can make them in the crock pot homemade or you can make them in the can like I do. 
Last time I made these, the girl was missing some seasoning. <laughs> and then I like to make Spanish rice and I will teach you how to make the perfect Spanish rice. But I like to use jasmine rice for that. So you'll need minced garlic. You'll need some green onions. You'll need, I like to use this extra fancy, this Fiesta brand, Spanish seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder. You'll need this tomato bouillon. Is that how you say it? Anyways, this is basically tomato powder. And then you'll need your chicken of the same thing, taco seasoning, black pepper, and pink Himalayan salt. Now I do make my own taco seasoning sometimes, which those tacos are really, really good. So if you'd like to see me do that recipe one day, let me know down below in the comment section. So the first thing I do, because I do make my own homemade tortillas, you see I have this oil going right here, but I have it barely on um, number three. So it's like <laughs> low medium. So I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to that. And I, ooh, and I like to cook with avocado oil. Okay, so while that's going, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to turn on this pot right here. And I'm gonna put this pot on medium, the big one. And I have it on this burner because this is our quick boil burner. And if you've made rice, you know that rice takes forever to cook. So I like to do the quick boil and I'm gonna barely drizzle the bottom of the pan with oil. We're gonna let that warm up and then we'll add about a cup of rice. I make the beans last just because I don't want them to be super dry when I cook them. But with your beans, so whether you are making beans homemade or making beans out of the can, always rinse them. Beans always have a lot of extra dirt on them. And then in the can, you see like they have that nasty goofy stuff and I don't like that. So what I do is I just pour it all into the sink in a strainer. And then I'm just gonna rinse these beans off until the water stops looking like that for the most part. So the pan feels a little bit warm. You can always see if the oil's hot yet because it'll be really runny like water. As you can see, this one's not really that runny. It's still a little bit thick, so we're gonna wait on that. What we're gonna do is turn on this burner right here, and I'm gonna put this on about four or five, so medium high heat. And then I will be cooking with about two pounds of ground beef. Like I said, adjust all recipes to your family size. So I'm gonna grab a glove and pull this out of the bag because I don't wanna dump all that blood into the pan. Sorry guys, I almost forgot because I'm getting ahead of myself. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna set this meat to the side for now. So while that oil's still heating up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these green onions, rinse them and then start chopping a few up. Now the green onion and the minced garlic is optional. You don't need this. I like to add different textures to the food. I like to have a crunch sometimes, and I won't do the green onion and minced garlic if I have avocados to make guacamole, but I don't. So, minced garlic and green onions it is. Those are some good green onions, they're very potent. Okay, so I'm gonna spray very little avocado spray into this pan right here, very little. Like barely coat the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna use my knife and just take a couple scoops of garlic. And then we will go ahead and add our green onion in with the garlic. Okay, now while that's heating up just a little bit, now we're gonna come over here. And this part you're gonna have to do super fast. Now I don't actually measure anything, you guys. So I'm just gonna cover the bottom of this pan with rice. And that's how I measure. I cover the bottom of the pan. So now, Remember, a little bit of rice goes a long way. It actually makes more than what it looks like whenever it's dry. So we're just gonna mix this around. And what you want is you want for this rice to get a little bit browned, just a little bit, before you add your water. So now that that's going, we don't want that to burn. So now you add your ground beef. Now I'm just gonna break up the meat 
Okay, so now if you come back to the rice, you can see that it is getting a little bit of brown. So just stir it a little bit. And you want as much of it brown as possible without burning the already brown pieces. So I can see that some of the pieces are already starting to burn. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a little over two cups of water. And how much water you add will depend on how much rice you cook. While we're doing this, I'm going to take, now this to me is essential for Spanish rice. I don't like tomato sauce because I feel like tomato sauce has no flavor. So I'm gonna use this. Now remember, this has sodium in it. So you're not gonna to wanna to add a lot of extra salt. So I just add, I don't know, that much. <laughs> and then these ones are easy. So remember, a lot of this stuff that we're adding, you guys, it already has your, cal your calories, your sodium in it. So you have to be very careful. Dang it, always do that. So I'm just gonna add one cube of the chicken. And then I'm gonna, this is how I measure you guys. Okay, so let me see if you can see inside my pan. Get you guys as close as possible inside my pan. So I do enough and I just make sure that I can see it basically on top of the water. So make sure every square inch that I can see is covered with this and then some. Go in with your onion powder. Make sure I may open the right hole this time unlike my crock pot mill. Go in with your garlic powder. Okay, this isn't wanting to come out probably because of the steam. Okay, so we might have to use the bigger one and just slightly sprinkle it. And then we're not gonna use salt. Remember, I said all of your other seasonings that we use for the rice already has salt. So for my rice, I don't add any additional salt, but I will go in with black pepper. And like I said, I try not to add too much black pepper just because of my kids. You know, sometimes pepper can make stuff a little bit spicy. Okay, so now that that's done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that chicken cube and I'm gonna break it up. Okay, so we're not gonna stir this again until you see foam all the way across the top or until you see that it's time to add more water. That's the only time we're gonna stir this. After you stir in your seasonings, leave your rice alone or you'll have sticky, mushy rice. Now the ground beef, I'm gonna add a couple of twists of the salt. Ground beef always needs a little extra help compared to other things. Now, since I have two packs of ground beef or two pounds of ground beef, I'm gonna use the whole pack of this. If I was only using one pound of ground beef, I would only use half of the pack because I feel like a whole pack for one pound is way too much. But since I have two pounds, I'm going to use the entire pack. Now we're gonna go in and add our onion powder, our garlic powder, and our pepper. You notice I cook with a lot of powders, like onion powder, garlic powder, because those don't have additional salt. And if you remember in my last video, I said, salt's not really good for one, just for your blood, it's not good. But salt is one of the key factors why you may bloat or <laughs> why you may retain a lot of water and you feel like your body is always swollen, that could be a factor of too much sodium in your diet. And I learned that because when I was living with my dad, he got really sick and he ended up having to be on dialysis. And when you're on dialysis, you have to not retain a lot of fluid. So basically he had to go on a diet that had very little salt. So that's why I cook with pink salt now and that's why I, that's the only salts I use and I try to use as little salt as possible and that's how I learned what water what foods help you retain a lot of water and what seasonings and things like that so like that iceberg lettuce any of your melons watermelon cantaloupe honeydew those will help your body those make your body retain a lot of water so if you're having a problem with water retention just check your sodium levels and like any lettuces salads things like that because those could be a factor in that as well. So the same thing with the meat is I'm not gonna stir it too much, just trying to mix in all the seasoning. And I don't wanna break it up too much because I don't want teeny tiny crumbles or like meat, like Taco Bell, if you know what I mean, like mushy wet meat. We're gonna turn this heat up a little bit now, now that the meat needs to cook. Okay, now for our tortillas, because I will start cooking them right now while everything else is going. I honestly use 
whatever corn tortillas I can find. They're all the same. I do prefer a specific taste of one. But today we have the white corn tortillas. So because I want to drain as much oil as possible off these tortillas, I am going, I do do four layers. So this is a double layer. And then this top one will be a double layer. So we're gonna leave that open right now. I turn that to up too high. So this is what you wanna look for to stir your rice. So you see around the edges, we have that foam and it looks like the bubbles are getting kind of like deep in the rice, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna, so anyways, while that water is getting hot, I'm gonna stir it just one time right now, just to see how much water there actually is. And then you can see that we still had a clump of that chicken seasoning, that chicken, whatever that word is. So now we're gonna add just a little bit more water. And you don't want your food to stop cooking. So what I do is I turn our water up to the sink to the highest level. So that way when I add it, you still see that it's boiling. So you don't wanna add cold water because it'll stop the food from cooking. Okay, so we're gonna turn this way, way down the meat because we don't want it to burn, but we don't want it to get cold. So I'm gonna put it literally on low. So that's gonna turn the simmering off and everything. It's just gonna keep it warm. So every time I make tortillas, I make I make about 12. Here's your trick with tortillas. I'm gonna turn up the heat now on the grease or on the oil because now we want the tortillas to cook and we gotta make sure the oil is hot. If you've never known how to make sure your oil is hot, if you wanna see if your oil is hot enough to fry, you can get something wooden. And if you see bubbles, I'll try to zoom in, but you see how it looks like the wooden stick is frying? That means your oil is the right temperature to start frying stuff in. Okay, and I let it do that. Once I see the bubbles come to the top of the tortilla, we're gonna flip it. Now that we flipped it, what we're gonna look for is a little bit of golden around the edges. And I try to push in the center because I still want that underside of the center of the tortilla to fry. Now, if you want your tortillas to already be like in a taco shape, what you could do is just hold it in the oil like this. If you hold it in the oil like this, it'll keep that shape. Now, I don't like to do that just because it's hard to get all the oil drained out if you do that, if you don't have a taco shell rack. So what I do is I just take them out and then I lay them flat on the, I lay them flat on the napkin and then I just flip them a couple of times. So for right now, you guys, I'm gonna turn you guys off until it's time to stir something when it's time to check on the rice again. It's currently not time, so I'm gonna turn you guys off while I find uh, fry up the tortillas. Okay, guys, so this is the point that you really want your rice to be, right here. So you see how much more that looks than whenever we added the rice? Like, now it's like an inch thick in the pan, so I can tell that this rice is done just because of how fluffy it looks. So I'm just gonna stir all of that out and then I'm gonna put this super low like we did the meat, super low. Not even simmer, just low. And we're gonna let that water render itself out. So I did go ahead and stir the rice and you can see there's no water left. So I did go ahead and turn off that burner. So I'm gonna leave, so I'm gonna leave the burner for this on just for a little bit because I forgot my seasoning that I've been adding to everything. So to all my food, I've been adding turmeric because turmeric has really, really good health benefits. And I don't, I'm not a fan of making smoothies just because I don't want to clean up the mess. So anytime I cook, I add a little bit of turmeric. Now, careful because this will stain everything. So like I said, just a little bit and then we're going to stir that in. Now we're gonna turn this burner off and we're gonna work on the beans. Is so we're gonna turn this back burner on. Bring you water. It's okay. We have no water. I said, it's okay, we have no water. Okay so, okay, so now that we have the beans going, like I said, we're just gonna add a little bit of water. Let me see. So I'm more so like to eyeball it in the pan. So you see, I like to be able to see the water just a little bit like that like right there. We're gonna let those come to a little boil. So now that we got the beans going, as you've seen, I get the no salt added beans. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna add a pretty good amount of the pink Himalayan salt. And now we will go in with the black pepper 
Now we're gonna add some garlic powder. And because I like for my food to be cohesive, I'm gonna add some of the Spanish rice seasoning. Seasoning, now they won't just taste like any old beans, but they'll have a little bit of Spanish flair to them. So I like to take the spoon with the holes just because I don't like to get a lot of water and juice on the plate. So we're actually gonna probably add some more seasoning to that added a lot of water so just season to your liking you guys i just already know how much seasoning i added last time and they were pretty bland so if i add more seasoning i'm going in with my powders you guys i'm not going in with um i might add a little bit more salt but not too much but really i'm just going in with my powders mostly you could also add an onion throw some bacon in there to give it some more seasoning but I just like to wait till the water looks seasoned because then I know that the beans will absorb that flavor from the water, if that makes sense. So we're gonna let those cook for a while. Just that way the beans have the chance to absorb that water, that flavor from the water. So we're just gonna let that water kind of render out a little bit and then I will start making the plates. Yeah. All right, all right you guys. So this is Brian's plate. Got some spinach, cheese, and salsa on his tacos and then rice and beans no it's not a lot of cheese so there you go you guys enjoy your tacos let me know if you make yours and um, all right you guys this is my plate i don't put spinach on my tacos just because of gas and i don't eat beans because of gas so but i do have sour cream and cheese so yeah i gotta cut it out somewhere i choose the healthy stuff to cut out all right, you guys, so I just got out the shower. I'm about to do my teeth whitening thing, my teeth whitening pen. And I just finished importing all the footage from today. I did a really long cook with me, so I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog at all Thursday or Friday because that cook with me alone is going to be 30 minutes and there's no way to like speed it up. All I can do is chop it down from the times that I'm talking and I'm not talking. So yeah, in the morning, I'm gonna do like a quick um, Amazon haul on this vlog um and then that'll probably it for this vlog so yeah I'll, I'll, honestly my days have been really repetitive so yeah but um, i'm about to do my teeth whitening thing and why that while that's on my teeth i like to do my reading so yeah right now i'm just waiting for the internet to freaking pop up waiting for the internet to pop up so that way i can insert my end screens and my um cards for my vlog on friday but other than that my video for thursday and friday are already up so i think i'm gonna take the rest of the week off from editing and everything else um recording so that's another reason why i just want to record the vlog and then be done with this i mean record the haul and then be done with this vlog but you guys tonight is my last night on this book I read the final chapter tonight and then I will record a Jesus Chats book review on that. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the morning for the Amazon haul and then I won't see you guys till Monday. So good night. Alright, hey guys, so it's actually not morning time. I know I said that I would do this this morning, but it is. 8.52 and I just kind of took a rest day from everything. Rest from work, rest from vlogging, rest from working out. Today was just a rest day, but I really wanted to do this Amazon haul and this vlog because it's a lot of hygiene products. So I didn't want to do like a dedicated video to it. But one of the first things I got is the Summer's Eve Active Wash. So I seen this on there because I was out and I'm, I've just been trying to find the cheapest way to buy stuff. And a lot of the stuff that Brian and I would get at Walmart or Target was actually cheaper on Amazon. And this was actually one of the things. And I thought that this would be a good one. I usually don't like scented stuff, but this is for active. And as you guys know, I do work out a lot. I'm getting back into my two a day. So this wash might be good. It says pH balance, removes odor and sweat. And then to go along with that, I just bought two. I just bought two of these because I don't, 
if I don't shower early enough in the morning, then I don't, or if I don't work out early enough in the morning, then I don't have time to shower after I work out. And the boys are up and Brian and I just both agree, like not, we should not be in the shower or anything while the boys are up. So if I don't always have time to do that, these wipes always come in handy. So that's why I just went ahead and bought two boxes of those to kind of freshen up down there and you know, armpits and stuff like that. Like I had told you guys, I don't remember when, but that I had bought a bunch of scrunchies. So this was actually a 15 pack. And these are the velvet ones. And I have the white one in my hair right now. And I believe that these are like four bucks for 15. I really like these. I like these way better than my chiffon ones. And the, the elastic in there is way better than those. And they stay like more fluffy and big. So I actually really like these. And yeah, I'm just gonna dump these out into this ipsy bag like I told you guys but yeah you get like I liked it because of all the neutral colors and then like falls coming up so it has a lot of fall colors and then you even get like a little cheetah leopard whatever that is print black white black yellow white like I showed you guys in my hair and then you have some like a maroon one, a purple one, this pink one, this like forest green one, an olive green one, like a smoky purple color, lilac color, gray, and then like a smoky blue color. So I thought that these were perfect for fall because my chiffon ones are really like super good, for, like the colors are good for. So another thing I did pick up was these pack of, of watch bands. Now, the, I had bought a pack recently of the pink, yellow, and gray one. And that pack was actually like super good quality. This pack is, it's not terrible, but it don't feel thick like the original watch bands that you get with your Apple Watch or that you get from Apple. So yeah, they're not terrible, but they still, but they're also not as good of a quality as the watch bands that I previously got. And the whole reason I bought this pack was because I thought this one was gonna be lime green and it's not, but I mean, that's okay. I could always wear this stone one because this isn't gray. This is more of like a, this is like between a gray and white, if that makes sense. And then like just lots of comfort fall colors is what I got. Like, you know, like just getting ready for fall. So, and then it came with this blue one. And I believe this pack was $7.99, $8.99, something like that. So, yeah. And these do have the metal piece on there that keep your watch, um, the next thing I got was a new brush. So I bought this one because they said it was good for curly hair. And I love to comb my hair, but sometimes a comb just isn't enough for my hair. So I'm not sure how I'm supposed to put this together or what this is supposed to. So anyways, you can either leave it how it was, but this is made to be a wider brush and it is for wet hair. And it said that it was made for curly hair. So anyways, the brush that I've had, and you can make it even wider. So yeah, you can either leave it up here or you can move it down to these holes right here. I'm not sure what the difference is. I'll test it out and let you guys know. But like I was saying, I have been liking to use a comb, but sometimes a comb just isn't enough. So this is the brush that I've been using, you guys. And I have had this brush. I've been using it since before Ethan was born, you guys, so like six years. So I thought, you know, it was just finally time to ditch that one, try a new brush. So I decided to try this one because like I said, I've been liking a comb and this is like a bunch of combs in one. So yeah, I was like, oh, that's gonna be great. Okay, one thing I love ordering off of Amazon are these Clingenic oils. So this is not their smallest one. This is their 18 or $16 pack, depending on when you buy it. Sometimes you can catch it on sale. And you get your orange, lemongrass, rosemary, peppermint, frankincense, eucalyptus, lavender, and tea tree oil. And then it comes with this book with oil blends and face serums and all kinds of stuff. So I really do like this. They have a smaller one that only comes with six, I think, for 12 bucks. And then they have a bigger one than this for 28 bucks that comes with 12 oils. So yeah. Okay, so if you guys know me, you guys know that I love trying stuff out for my curly hair because I have the curls where they can be super kinky. They can be loose. It just depends on the products that I use. And sometimes I want a really kinky curl and then sometimes I don't. So I've tried the curl cream from this brand, which is the brand Curls. And it was just, it was good, but 
it was a little too heavy, but it also wasn't enough to keep my hair from getting frizzy, frizzy. So I thought that I would try the botanical gel. So this is like their gel. And as you can see, it's super liquidy. It's not thick. So I'm excited to try that out. And then a few other things that I got are just from the OGX brand. Because when I searched, I, I just searched for organic body wash and organic body lotion. And OGX was the cheapest brand on Amazon. We had been using raw sugar from Target. But like I said, cheapest is what uh, better ingredients is what we look for. So I tried this lavender. I, I bought this lav calming and, re and reviving lavender essential oil body wash. Now this one is for me. Excuse me because I'm a nighttime shower. And then we have, Brian's already been using this one and he really likes it. And so just bought a backup for him of the soothing coconut coffee one. And then I bought this body lotion to go with it. Right now we're using their coconut oil, their Miracle Coconut Oil body wash. And this one is their, this is their Radiant Glow Aragon Oil of Morocco. And so this is extra hydrating. We both need extra hydra hydration to our skin. And then one of the last things I got, it's so, do you guys remember when I told you that I, I bought a pink one of these? Well, it disappeared. We have no idea, like no idea where it disappeared to. So I just picked up a new one and this one was still cheap. It was the $7.99 one. So we just bought another squat bar um, thing. So yeah, that is always good. And then I did get one more thing. So if you guys didn't know, I have been really, I have been in, really into getting reading books and just trying to find devotional time to spend with God. And so I just finished the book, Holy Hustle, last night. So tonight I ordered this book and it came in yesterday. I will be starting She Laughs, Choosing a Faith Over Fear. And if you guys, guys, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then you wouldn't know that I'm going to start doing book reviews on these. So yeah, that is my little Amazon haul, you guys. But yeah, other than that, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you guys on Monday. Bye guys. Mwah.